expecting excellent race today. There is about uh, 700 runs, and the, uh, at least you'd imagine at least 100 uh, people needed to run, and we're expecting uh, excellent race. There are a lot of good things about Bradford Manor, but one of them isn't the hills. Well, so Bradford is part of Bradford's character. Bradford is built on the hills of the Pennines. Uh, it's part of uh, the Bradford character to, uh, to overcome these sort of adversities. It's a good big party and a lot of fun. Is it a good event to watch? Depends how warm it is. It's chilly today. <laughs> um, I think it's, I think marathons are uh, an excellent events. I ran a, my first marathon about three years ago and it's absolutely fantastic for me who's been involved in all sorts of other competitive sports where I'm used to sort of fighting and competing me against you. Whereas in a marathon it's really you against yourself and everybody in the marathon, uh, the competitors as well as the spectators are all helping everyone, which I think is fabulous. So the team spirit is the big thing about the event? The team spirit, not just, uh, it's one heck of a big team, depending on the size of the uh, entrance. For sure. Bruce, thanks very much. We'll get off to the start now and see them set off. Let's hope they do well. Thank you. I wish everyone success and I hope that everything goes well and the runners, when they return, I mean, they are well and safe. I first run it about three years ago. I, I did about 5.20, but... Uh, I lost a bit of weight last year, a couple of stone, and I've knocked over an hour off my time, so I'm hoping to do something about four hours this year, or just over. Now, this is one of the toughest marathons in the country. Why do you do it? For a laugh. I enjoy it. I'm not too keen on the downhills. I don't mind the uphills too much, but the downhills really... It's, me knees. it's a good job you don't mind the uphills, because it's the hilliest course in the country. Thanks very I much. I had a feeling it might be something like that. Okay. Have you any last requests? <laughs> uh, yeah, I want an ambulance close by. <laughs> I don't want to be too far away for when I fall. What's your favourite bit about the event? Finishing. <laughs> um, which part of the course you, are you not looking forward to? Uh, starting. <laughs> well, we're here because we're Lister Lane School and the, we are the main charity for the marathon this year. And how much are you looking to raise and what for? As much as possible for our hydrotherapy pool at school. Could you tell us just quickly what a hydrotherapy pool is? Yes, it's a swimming pool, a small swimming pool, used for beginners and for children who have special needs uh, for physiotherapy. They, they find that if they get the calipers off and into the water, then they can move more freely. And most of our children use the pool with very few who don't. I should imagine there'll be a few people today who'd like to be using your pool after the event. I'm sure there would because we keep it heated to over 90 degrees so that the children who go into spasm uh, can swim more easily. S Sydney seems to think that we'll do OK. Uh, I'll, all I've got to do is keep up with him. Uh, How many marathons has Sydney done now? Well, I've lost count. I've lost count, yeah. I just have to keep running underneath him because, you see, he lives in Blackpool. And uh, if I don't keep up with him, he's just straight across and he, he's away, he's home, you know what I mean? So it's the only way I can keep him with me. What's right. Mr Cloud9 doing a marathon for? I'd like to know that to myself, actually. Is this your first one? No, fifth. And what's your best time today? The London one in three and a half hours, but the Bradford one, four hours ten. Um, it's a tough marathon today. Are you looking forward to it? I'll let you know that when I've finished it. I've I mixed feelings, actually. It's a bit hard. And just for people who don't know, what do you do at a weekend? do a lot of running. A lot of running, and, uh, yeah, that'll do. That'll do. What's an attractive girl like you doing at a marathon like this? Uh, we're sponsoring it from Steiner's. From Steiner's Hair Salon? Yeah. So this wind must be playing hell with your hair today. Oh, it is, it is. <laughs> Are you uh, giving some prizes away then? Yeah, yes. Like what? Uh, £100 first prize, £50 second prize and £25 third prize. Uh, I understand it's a beauty salon as well. Are there any uh, massages there? There are, yeah, plenty. <laughs> Great comradeship about it all. Uh, we're joining together, we'll shout and we, you know, we help each other all the way around. That's the point about it, yeah. Hello, John. You're our film crew driver today. Certainly am, sir. Um, oh, we're all set to go. Definitely. To go. Come on, lads. Let's get this show on the road. <laughs> He's ready. See, I'm having to hold him down actually. He's really wanting to go now. You know, he's getting dead keen. And um, the red line at bank foot. Anybody else here from the Yeah, pub? we've got. We've got more lads here. Uh, yeah. 
You seem to be a bit outnumbered by Seth Beads here. Oh, we can take them, we can check them on, we can check them. Anyway. As long as you don't expect us to beat them, that's all that matters. I'm here in Peel Park, Bradford, ready for the start of the Boar's Head Marathon. It's 26 miles, slightly over, in fact, of the toughest course in the country. And the hills are absolutely incredible. I don't even like driving up them, let alone running up them. And uh, there are plenty of people here who are going to raise a lot of money for charity and have an awful lot of fun in the meantime. I've got somebody here on my left, if we could pan across for the British Heart F Foundation. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. I'm not running, but we are from Murfield supporting the running waiters who are running all the way around. And they're running for the Heart Foundation? They are indeed. They How are. much do you hope to raise? Around about the same as last year, about £500, which is absolutely fantastic. Lovely. God bless everybody in Bradford. Steady though, four mile an hour, high old. What is your pre match preparation involved? Getting your rounds around a good looking girl, what would you like to do now? Get them back round. <laughs> oh, you're killing me already. And this is the first hill. Yeah, not anymore, is it? I'm doing only one. That was man. We've got enough tablets. Energy. Well, aye, already. <laughs> and this is the first one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> lots and lots of hills here, too. You must like all... hills. You have to go down here, don't you? There's a lot hills around here. <laughs> right, where are you done? <laughs> I can't agree to Blackpool, it's nice and flat. It's a good place to live though, isn't it? Oh, I like them from Oh, well, you're not funded. You told me you were going to do really well at this first hill. <laughs> you said you were going to storm up here. Compared to what I usually do, this is doing well. <laughs> Thumbs up again. <laughs> I'd like to say hello to everybody in Motown Leeds. Thank you. <laughs> hey, I won't catch you. I want you to catch this smile because I won't be smiling at finish. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> what, what were you discussing? We just discussing tactics at our new running club, you see. That's all it is. So you have to run a marathon so it puts you in the right frame of mind to think about tactics. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> <laughs>
with some yes. of the Sim B's, lads, who were yeah. promising so much earlier. How are we going to win? You're going to win. I'm going to touch a wind. Oh, the touch of wind should help you on the hills. Yeah, it's going that way, not that way. This time in the race. Somebody do face on me. Forty-four minutes, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen seconds. Not a bad time for these conditions, and with this wind, the lead bunch have caught up with uh, the runner who broke out on his own before. And the course car's about to pass us. Number 350 in the lead. Bob Eccles' favourite for the event. Uh, it's one of them. Uh, the lad called Dave. They're not far in front. I'll have a bit of a rough start, but uh, this is going quite well. So you're not far behind the leading bunch. Can yeah. you see them? I can see them, but it's a long way up there. <laughs> if, if you can see them, there's something to aim for, haven't you? Yeah. First 15 is blue. Is this a good way to spend a Sunday? Oh, definitely. I'm just heading for Paul, so I'm going next. <laughs> Jerry Spinks from Bingley Harriers here in good condition at this stage in the event. This stage, yeah. 50th marathon, this. This is your 50th, that's yeah. a big anniversary. It is. Are you enjoying it? Great. <laughs> so you must have run your first one when you were about four. Uh, I was 38 when I ran my first. I'm 55 now. What sort of time are you looking for today? About 2.10. <laughs> <laughs> about 2.50. 2.50? Yeah. yeah. I like it. Well, I've got to go on top of that hill. That must be a theme for the whole event, that. Right. Roll on the downhill bit. Yeah, that Very nice hat you've got there. I've got that in America in the Boston yeah, Marathon. Did you? Second Englishman. You were? Yeah. Looking forward to being second Englishman today. Too much beer last night. <laughs> It's my 33rd marathon today. It's your 33rd? Yeah. Who do you run for? Manchester YMCA. Oh. I'm the alright. Alright. Just gonna keep going, I know I can get there. <laughs> You're gonna get... I'll survive. <laughs> I want to win. <laughs> New York. New York? <laughs> wanna go there. Oh, you're well on the way. There's only 300 <laughs> in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> They're all tiring. <laughs> it's a tough course though, you're doing well. Aye, right, when you flatten these hills, that'd be a bit better. <laughs> Any casualties yet? No, just what? No, just, well, just only one. Wanted to Vaseline. Where for? The groin. <laughs> it rubbing a bit there. Who applied that? Well, that's him. <laughs> <laughs> that's your job, is it? That's my job. Your yeah. groin massager. That's right. Do you need special training? Uh, not usually. But I presume you're a volunteer. That's right. What sort of injuries do you get on this kind of event? Can lead to pull muscles, strains, sprains, things like that. And uh, you're all volunteers? Oh, yes. Right, yes. Yeah. Do you get to go to an event like this every weekend? No. Not usually. Not usually, no. Various different events through the year. And how about you? You've been sitting there standing quietly. You've got the bag on. What's the bag for? 
equipment. And what have you got in there? Everything that's required, hopefully. Sure. Do you want to see? And the sandwiches. Oh, no, that's someone else. We've got another bag for them. How you like to run? The wind's a bit strong, though. It's not too bad. It just goes us down sufficiently, really. Helps you up the hills and yes. pushes you down them. Yeah. Unless it's blowing the wrong way, of course. Oh, that's it. <laughs> this is the smell of this. Yeah. <laughs> We're not going too fast for you, are we? <laughs> Right, Jason, tell us, are you running for Africa? India? No. Who are you running for? I'm going to see if I can finish it, and then that'll do for me, just to finish it. How about you? Just for fun. You're for fun. I like the headband. Is it specially for the event? No. Tell me, Jason, have you had your hair done just for the race? Especially for the cameras, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Turn it on. <laughs> Don't look at it. Turn it on. Hello. Oh, 637. 637. Yeah, Bob yeah. Yes. And do you watch every marathon? Yes, everyone yes. we can. How many has he done so far? About seven or eight. And what's his best time? Uh, 321. In London Marathon. Yeah, in London Marathon. In London. Do you think he'll beat that today? Definitely. Hopefully, yes. It's a tough course, though. Is it? It's a hardest one. That's why you don't get these good runners coming, they're frightened. They're frightened of it, are they? They're frightened of this, aye. <laughs> well, they might not run them, they couldn't do this. They couldn't? No. So, what's special about Bradford, then? It's the hardest one, there is, they're all flayed. They're all flayed, are they? <laughs> they're flayed for the I'm telling you. We're just going up the hen out of eating with his school for his school for his Lucas head. <laughs> Can it... Solo club, Bradford Solo club. And what's Bradford Solo club do? Uh, probably does divorce season. Things like that. So you get to meet a lot of widows on this event. I do, I'm just sponsored for it. I'm dropping out at 13 miles. Oh. Hello, Mr. Proctor. How are, you doing? are you building up a good lead here? Yes. Going all right. You've reached the top of the hill. It must be a relief. There's another one yet, isn't there? Yes, but I think that's probably the worst one. Yes. Over with. Get to James C. T. and I should feel a lot better. You're going to pick up a car? this every year? Yes, yes. It's the best bit about the marathon, is it, for you? Absolutely. We can nip to the pub as well between. <laughs> By this stage, many of the runners must be feeling very tired. Yes. Can you tell from the looking at them who's going to make yeah, it to the end yeah. and who isn't? I don't, I don't know. We're too busy trying to give them okay. refreshment. OK. Plenty of salt and vinegar on them, is there? Oh, too much. Yes, too much. And are they classic Harry Ramsden's fish and chips? Absolutely. Hello, girls. Hello. Now, isn't this good fun? Yeah, it's Very lovely, good. especially on a day like this. <laughs> Great stuff. Feeling great. We'll watch you at the finish. Good to be back on the flat again.
Bramford TNA Marathon. With the latest details, here's Tony Delahunty. Amanat Ahia, Amanat Ahia in the lead now. He's come through, he was lying in about fourth place for a little while, but he's gone up to the front now, just ahead of Mick Day, who is right at his shoulder. And Robert Eccles, who dropped back a little bit, the thing they had here about 30 yards back, has uh, pulled that back in, and now he's in third place. Robert Dover, who was leading not too long ago, is about 200 yards behind them. But the leader in the Bradford TNA Marathon, after two hours and five minutes have gone of it, with just under five miles to go, is Amanaf Ahia. Tony Delahunty, Pennine Radio News, in Shipley. An H. more requests coming up in a moment the last time we heard on the bradford tna marathon there were four men runners bunched up at the front we're getting nearer the end of the bradford tna marathon for this year reporting on the latest situation for us tony delahunty that car has gone down for two we have a real race on our hands as we head back towards peel park just on three miles to go two hours 19 minutes and five seconds we've been going the leader is amanaf ahia he's going very strongly indeed mcday's just behind him so Bingley Harrier of an uh, here leads from the valley strider there. Robert Eccles has dropped back about oh, 150, 200 yards further back behind them. Uh, Robert Dover is chasing him. But a real race for the lead for going to New York. Remember, the winner goes to New York. Is on right at the front now with Amanaf uh, Amana Ahia just ahead of McDay. McDay is just behind him. Neither runner appears to be in difficulty, but it's a real uphill stretch all the way through to the finish now. One of them is going to kick out soon, but it probably won't be just yet. But Amanaf Ahia takes a look over his shoulder now. As we come, we're heading towards the city of Bradford, but we'll turn off towards Pe Peel Park. On the hills, it has looked before as if McDay has been the faster man. But my goodness, the test of courage for Amanaf Ahia is on now. Day is just behind him at his shoulder. One of these two should win the Bradford Marathon. Two places are way behind, but at the moment, the leader, Amanaf Ahia, from McDay, Tony Delahunty, on the TNA Marathon. Who are you expecting here first? Uh, chap from Bingley Harriers. I'm not sure of his name. I think it's Am Amir. Amanir That's right, Ashish. yes. <laughs> Can never pronounce it right. Right, and he's a long way in front of Mick Day still, is I he? I believe so, yes. He's uh, just turned into Bolton Road now. An exciting finish to the Bradford Marathon. Excellent finish. One of the toughest marathons in the country. Certainly. You're pleased with the turnout today? Oh, yes, yes. This, despite the win, people have turned up and they've appreciated their runners' efforts. And you think the finish will be an exciting event? I think so. Somebody could catch him yet. Thank you. Bring her through. Keep it together there. Really happy. Come on, young lady. Happy as well as him. That's it. I am. Keep it together. Just this way, both of you again. Really happy. Give him a kiss on the side of his cheek. <laughs> Second through the line, Nick Day of the Valley Striders. Make Day a good run for you. No, I'm a bit disappointed, really. Halfway along Canal Road, you were still in contention. We thought you were slipstreaming and ready for a spurt. Yeah, well, he, he spurted on me, so great one, Kiddo. Nice one. Yeah, the toughest part of the course for you? Half-fast, fast. Yeah. Good order. 
But you got over that all right in the end? Yes, I did, yes. A winning moment for you? <laughs> well, I knew Dave had a fast finish here, so I had to keep him there. So you knew you had to do there. something special? And that's what you did? <laughs> Came all right in the end. Shopkeeper. Shopkeeper. I listened to you the other day on the floor in Liverpool. <laughs> 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 Third place for you there. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah. A good fourth place for Bingley Harry. Are you pleased with that? Very much indeed, thank you. Did yes. the race run how you expected it to? Uh, yes, quite windy on the early part of it, yeah. yeah. Uh, just found it a little bit of a struggle over the last two miles. How's the time for you? Um, in the conditions, I'm uh, very satisfied with that. It's two minutes just slower than me, uh, fastest time, but uh, on the course and the conditions, I'm very satisfied with it. And, of course, first place for Amanash are here today. Indeed. I, I didn't know, actually. I thought it was probably Mick Deer that would have won it when I saw the, uh, him take it up about, after about ten miles. He pulled, he, he pulled out a good lead towards the end. Have you run with him often? Uh, I can only remember running with him uh, in the Carvlet Half Marathon and he finished about a good minute or so in front of me there and I dare say a good couple of minutes in front of me today anyway. Thank you. Thanks very much indeed. Robert Eccles. Thanks. We spoke yeah. to you earlier on in the race. Yeah. A disappointing fifth for you? Very disappointed, yeah. I've had a good two races, I'm happy about it. Uh, the lads are going well, you know, big day, uh, Abrak, Fire Club, to put the miles in. I've had a good winter, I'm pleased. A little bit disappointed today, but... Uh, it was in the last three miles that you seemed to drop that bit behind? That's right, yeah. More stamina training, is that? I think so. Uh, I, I'm go I've been going well on the hills, I don't know just what went wrong today. I think uh, I was a little bit ambitious, I think. Uh, through the uh, last couple of weeks. Um, just pleased to finish this year. Oh, he's just here. We're just here to help present the prize to him. I see. Because it's sponsored by your firm. Imperial Travel. And could you tell us what the first prize is once again? It's a uh, return air ticket to New York, hotel accommodation and free entry into the New York Marathon. Are you going? Not, no, not, not <laughs> that I know of yet, no. <laughs> You're proud of your lad then? Yes. Oh, yes. we are. Yes. Did he do what you expected him to do? Uh, well, I kept saying, I said, it'll be my first three one of these days. Did you? He <laughs> will. Are you his biggest fan, then? I'm his mother. <laughs> He's obviously very proud of you. How about you? Do you yes, feel I think a good, so. good performance today? I'm very pleased indeed. I felt stronger this year than any of past years. You know, I've knocked eight minutes off my best time, so very pleased with that. Great stuff. Were there any so. difficult moments for you on the way around? Not particularly. There's a bad wind in places. That, that was the main problem, but uh, otherwise it went fairly well. So next year we're looking for something even better? I don't know about that, you know. <laughs> I'll take a few days to recover first. <laughs> right. I'll tell you what, I have a, there's a, an awfully nice couple going around just now. They are mature, shall we say, and they're husband and wife, and they took part in the um, London Marathon two or three weeks ago, and the wife beat the husband by four minutes. Right. And she's in the lead again today, so there could be a wee bit hassle in the... It's the, the names are Rhodes, Tom and uh, May Rhodes. And, uh, you know, there could be hassle on the household tonight if she wins again. That's not good. Not good. <laughs> he won't do a lot of running sometimes, but he does. He's a marathon oh, runner, right? Last year. <laughs> Which marathon did he run? Last year. This and how one. did you do? I did good. Well, I will please. First marathon, three hours, 33 minutes. So what's your excuse for not running today, then? Yeah, well, I was in a car crash just down the road about two and a half months ago. Well, that's a good excuse. And my hips, so I'm out of train. I'm running next week, you know, oh, for the good. African so Appeal Fund. Oh, good, recovered. Thank Thanks. you. <laughs> some you win, some you lose. You did very well in last year's. Has this been a bit of a disappointment to you? I've never taken two hours 51 in a marathon and I've never found any race ever so hard. What particular I, was hard about it? Well, I felt comfortable till about 12 miles and then I stopped and I've been walking and running ever since. That would be Horsforth. Mm, very, very hard. Yeah. Who won it? Uh, Amanasha here from Bingley Harriers. That's fantastic. Who A good run for you? Not good. <laughs> a damn tough course. A really tough course. Thank you. Time's a bit slow, but uh, it was a hell of a Please beat so me. Oh, yeah. Now, was your time slow or fast for you? No, I set out to do it 2.55, and I did 2.54, so... 
Oh, that's I'll pretty do. good going, isn't I'll it? I'll do. <laughs> <laughs> Been a tough race for you? Yes, it has, but uh, not too bad, is it? Conditions weren't too bad at all. He was the last home last night, yeah. <laughs> well, there's a lot of preparation that you know, goes into an event like this. Very true. <laughs> it certainly is. <laughs> it was about very late when he got in. All the hard work. What's the best thing about the Ratford Marathon? The atmosphere, I think, that it creates and the interest. And um, just the part is the, you know, patient of all the people, really. Thank you. Not really, no. I, I was doing all right up to about 17, 18 miles, and then, like I told you, wind, you know, it got in his face, it's a bit coming down that hill, and we just died at last mile or two, we weren't moving. <laughs> so it's hard work, but good fun? Oh, well, yeah, we enjoyed it, especially now, but last two or three miles, I wasn't right bothered. What's the best thing about the Bradford Marathon for you, then? For me? Well, like I told you, oh, you know, joining in. Joining in, talking yep. with people, aren't we? Oh, yeah, it's a nice place, better than Germany. What do you like best about Bradford? Best, um... Oh no. <laughs> Are you being for the a curry then? The Mr. Hargreaves. <laughs> Are you hoping to uh, dress the runners next year then? Well, we've dressed one of them this year. And this is your runner, Hargreaves, sponsored runner in the Bradford Marathon, is it? That's right, Jason, yes. How did he do? He did very well, actually. He's, he's a bit exhausted now, but he did exceptionally well. I understand he's been training by running up and down catwalks every week. <laughs> yes, he has. Uh, that makes him good at the short sprint, but not very good on the long haul. He's been running to work every morning, but that's only three miles, and he's, he's suffering a bit now, I think, yes. Good. Honestly, I couldn't say a word on that. It's absolutely knackered. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't say anything at all. I can't walk, I can't talk. Is it better than working though? No. <laughs> I'd rather work than do this every time. Did you have plenty of support from me? Yes, the support was good, yeah. yeah plenty of cheering, <laughs> clapping and everything. It was really good. Hi Mum. Thank you. <laughs> Can I die now? <laughs> Get out at will. Pint in the pub after it's the best bit. But they're closed, unfortunately, this time. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Are you enjoying the race? Yeah, yeah. Fine. Got your girlfriend? No. No, I heard you had. What about <laughs> that girl at school? No. You haven't got a girlfriend? No. Nope. But I bet there's nobody prettier than your mum, is there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if bro, if bro can run this now, one, bro. I'll do it on one leg. <laughs> Ridiculous, this. Must be mad. What? It's the London legs that got me. Is that right? I was just finishing London at this time, so I've got two miles to go. The rest of me's great. <laughs> Magnificent. <laughs> anyway, I should at least be four hours. Half an hour for two miles. Couldn't keep up with the... Uh, I was trying to keep up with a lady who was destined to be third. Couldn't keep up with her. It's probably finished by now. <sighs> I saw you running earlier, didn't I? That was quite right, yeah. I'm going to run again in a minute. It's just having a little breather, that's all. Just two miles to go now. Yeah. Wind's changed a bit. It's with us now. Hope it's with us up that hill. Oh, yes, it is. Is it? Gives me a bit of encouragement. I'll run for that, then. Thank you. Well, that's some team miles of suffering then, but I feel a bit better now. I've got a bit of cramp, you know. A bit of cramp? Yeah. Well, there's some really good-looking girls in the St John's tent, so oh, well, that could be the thing to have at the finish. I better call him, then. He's a good tap dancer. He can tap dance. <laughs> <laughs> We saw you doing that shortcut in Foster Square after 24 miles, so what's your excuse? Well, I can't recollect too much of it, but I remember a good deal. I am young in this. <laughs> the tarmac thing we're going, 
platoons were killing me. And plus a guy you've put white cross sent me around the roundabout wrong way. Well, I finished. <laughs> I'm just having a rest. They spoil you, you see, too much. Have you had any of this massage yet, women? Here yeah, yeah, but I wanted one of you lot to come and do it, not these women. <laughs> She's me now, she's wish she never had me. Why is that? She says I'm not coming to Bradford, it's the only time I ever come to Bradford this. <laughs> a cheese sandwich. Oh, oh, <laughs> How's it gone on today then? <laughs> All right, yeah, good day. Wind were bad, wind were bad for me. Four little wings are nearly dropping off. Very yeah. tired? Yeah, very tired and rather hungry as well, you know so, what I mean, yeah. So you yeah. don't think it'll be running off to Blackpool then? No, definitely not. It'll be, uh, you know, going to, going to bed early tonight, definitely. How about you? Uh, fine, fine, yeah, enjoyed it, enjoyed it. You Great always fun. enjoy it, don't you? True, true, yeah. <laughs> That's... Uh, yes, I've been, well, no, I haven't enjoyed it, no, it's been awful. The Why is that? The wind's been terrible. But it's a good place to have a marathon, Bradford, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you're looking for hills, you don't need to go anywhere That's else, true. do you? No. <laughs> Were the hills bad for you? Um, no, the, the worst bit was on Canal Road, coming back. Yes. The, the finish was very boring. You're pleased with your time? Yes, I am. Yeah, yes. three and a half hours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And who's your bodyguard? Yeah. Uh, I'm a trainer and a husband. <laughs> but, uh, Any special training for the event? Uh, well, Bed with toast, uh, early toast night. and jam, yeah, early nights and toast and well, jam. Well, I'm interested in the early nights, but um, <laughs> yeah. I, th I think and that's what's jiggered me up too many early nights. I, I suffered a bit, yeah. Anything special in their physical training? Uh, yeah, we've, we've done a lot of indoor training. <laughs> and uh, I think that's what's knocked me up. Night, I'm stopping it now, I'm, I'm giving that up. <laughs> yeah. I kicked you, didn't I? You did, you did. Didn't I? All the ones said you could win yes. it. Well done. Well done, I'm really pleased. What do you do? I'm more pleased if I, if I could up, it's me winning it myself. Yeah. Well done. Uh, did you get this thing? No. Warmed up now, have you relaxed yes, now? Yes, I've recovered how, a bit. How do you feel to have won the toughest marathon in the country then? It's tough, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've, you brought your chief trainer and diet coach here, I understand. <laughs> Now, you've only been married for four months, she tells me. Has this got something to do with the fact that you were running quickly today? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> Have you done any special training? No, not really. Must be a just, great feeling. Just a few long runs, that's all. Did you expect to win today? Not really, no. So it must be even, uh, even better for you? It's a now, bit of a surprise. <laughs> now, how about you? Because I've seen you telling everybody that you've had nothing to do with this win, but I don't believe it. I haven't. He's the one that's done it all, you know, he's the one that's been out training and everything, you know. I'm very proud of him, you know. But you've been backing him up all the way then? Well, I mean, I did say to him, well, you know, well, I expected him to win. You did? I did, yes. Well, you sure why didn't you tell us first and we could have followed him round a bit more? <laughs> He's a complete outsider. He wasn't in the, one of the race favourites, but he's done a fabulous job and he's won a, a fantastic prize. He's going uh, courtesy of Imperial Travel and Pound Stretcher. He's going over to the Penta Hotel in New York to stay for a week and has uh, a free entry uh, into the New York Marathon. So he's going to have a, a wonderful trip of a lifetime uh, with win winning the Bradford TNA Marathon. And it's a great win for him. We were watching him all the way around the course and it was only in the last two or three miles that he suddenly seemed to find something from somewhere and pull out in front because up all, along Canal Road towards the end of the, of the distance, Mick um, Day was still behind him. Yes, I think that uh, Mick Day was much more of a race favourite and um, hopefully was uh, doing his best but the best man on the day won it and as I say I think it's uh, a fabulous prize and I'm very pleased for the boy. And no single runner dominated until that very last stretch so it was an exciting race all the way through open until almost the very end. Yeah well a lot of the pre-race favourites um, were excluded from uh, the race because of injury uh, but um, Thankfully, we've got a winner, and we've got a very good winner, and he's going to have a super time over in New York and see all them very big towering buildings they have, and uh, he's going to do very well representing Bradford in New York. Smashing. Bruce, thanks very much indeed. I uh, thank you too.